morning, Joe Deary, Powerful Improvements, Pondell, Connecticut. It is Tuesday, March 8th, and we are officially kicking off our season today. Uh, very excited. I got an annual to start things with. We're going to do gutter cleaning and house wash. And then we have another annual, which we're doing uh, gutter cleaning, roof wash, and house wash. So it's going to be a fun little day. Just two projects to get us started, make sure everything works correctly. And very thankful for this YouTube channel because everyone pays attention. And Sam pointed out that Itchy was not on the truck. Thank you, Sam. Okay, this worked out real slick just the way I want it to with my power washer tank on the same side as my truck tank. Very simple, fill it up there, fill it up here. I like having this tank with the gauge. You can see that I'm on nearly empty because I can't see through this tank normally. So it's nice to have a gauge. Did not have one last year. And we're gonna fill that up and get on the road here momentarily. All right, I wanted to show you how slick this is. We got the iPad in here all powered up with the bracketry to hold it right here at my fingertips to drive. I'm gonna hit my Marcate software. Okay, this brings me right to my schedule. You can see I got two jobs scheduled for today. Okay, we got 67 jobs currently on the schedule. 10 estimates hanging out there right now. So today's schedule gives me my whole month of March. We're highlighted in green. Shows you what I've got going for the day, these two projects. We're gonna hit the first project. Okay, and then we're gonna hit this little map button right here. And that takes me right directly to the GPS. And we're going to our first Starting job. Route to 102 Putnam Road. How slick is that? Proceed to Kennedy <clears throat> Drive. Then you can left. call me the rinse of darkness. All right, I'm getting set up on my first job to wash. I got this nice big ranch home. I've done the gutters on this in the fall. They should be very clean. I've got water hooked up and I'm doing gutters first while my water tank fills up. I've got maybe a hundred gallons in there or so, so far. I got the little Husky with the gooseneck warming up right there. And we're gonna try to use our new tools today. So I got the gutter, I got the extension tube all stretched out to reach that top gutter. And I'm gonna go around the house and blow these out. Again, there should not be much debris in there because I just did these in the fall. These trees are far enough away from the house. We're gonna give it a once around and then we're gonna wash. That didn't work out for me quite the way I wanted it to at all. And I'm not messing around, I'm going on the roof. All right, these gutters are nearly clean from last year. The front gutter I just did, no video. Gotta get my sea legs back under me here. First time on a roof in several months, the wind is howling up here. 
We're on top of a hill. Beautiful views. Farmland as far as you can see. And the front gutter was full of ice. So I'm glad I went up there and took care of it. And we're gonna get down and start washing here in a minute. So we couldn't get the machine to run. It ran for about five seconds and quit. Little troubleshooting. It looked like I was getting no fuel. My fuel line runs around behind my tanks and got pinched when I filled up the 275 cube. Some of you guys warned me about that. I'm gonna have to reroute it a little better so it doesn't happen again. As you can see, it's running. I just did this little side here as a test hit. It's about 35 degrees out here. We're running the red gun. We got soap on the house, no problem. And my mix is working really well. This was very dirty and has changed and transformed pretty quickly. So I'm happy. I'm gonna start soaping the back of the house and uh, hopefully get something done today. On that peak from the ground, no problem. Way over the peak. And I can see the brown transforming almost instantly. We got a nice mix going. We're pulling straight SH with just a little tiny bit of soap on that little proportioner that I made. It's working out really good. I'm pulling on 200 feet of hose right now. Plenty of slap right there. Evie's having a good time. Quick big check. I got three quarters of a tank of water back there still, no problem. So this well is keeping up. Coming out beautifully clean. These doors were filthy. Gutter faces were filthy. All the black mold on these rubbers went away. Real happy. So I got one last section in the back to do and we're gonna be done. Oh man, the fun's all over already. Buffer tank looks great. Very impressed. Hardly used, let's see, we used about maybe, I don't know, five or six gallons of shock, half a gallon, maybe a quarter gallon of soap. And this house looks fantastic. I'm gonna do a quick final inspection. Check out this backside. Make sure I didn't leave any kind of mess or stains or weepers or any nonsense like that look good still drying a little bit boy that is gleaming sweet I did the fence I did the deck area I did that shed over there had a couple little issues along the way we did the gutters etc and that was just about an hour and 45 minutes total even with my downtime so slick and uh what an unbelievable difference when you hit the Flow Pro from soap to rinse. That gun just comes alive. It's crazy the flow that I'm getting. All right, quick break, and then on to the next project. Yay. Invoiced and paid. Next project. Okay, hit the map. Here we go. Starting route to 1069 Davis Street. Doesn't get any easier than that. Proceed to the route. Evie and I are set up on our next little project. We got this nice little one level ranch, little kick out in the back, and we're washing gutters and roof wash here. I've got power line pulled all the way around the house with the red gun on it to right there. I'm starting right in this area. We're gonna hit that little pocket by the eave where it's most dirty and let that sit for a bit. Actually, I might hit that with some roof wash when I'm up there, save myself a second. Okay, I've got the ladder set up. I'm about to go up there with the leaf blower. We're blowing out the gutters nice and easy. Then I'm jumping up with the roof wash, 12 volt. And then we're gonna 12 volt this entire roof. It's not really dirty. We're gonna hit it with about 3% today. It's gonna sit for the summer. And then we're gonna quickly wash this place. And the wind is blowing, boy. Okay, we got a sign in the yard on the corner. Network of similar homes down in here. 
and I get the leaf blowing done and we're about to go 12 volt. I wanna show you how this works, okay? So we've got water on fully. I'm gonna turn this dial down to three. That roof's not even dirty up there. I'll show you guys when I get up there. I'm simply gonna hit it with 3%. I got the soap all the way open because I wanna see. See, we're gonna bottom that out. Three turns is all the way open. Okay, so that's bottomed, that's closed. We've got one, two, three. That's all the way open, okay? Now I have this set right here to transfer into my soap tank because we wanna prime this first, make sure it's ready to go, all right? So that's turned on. I can see flow everywhere we gotta go here. I can see it's filling my tank, and I'm going to just simply turn this over to the reel, and we're good to go. All right, we're up here ready to spray. I'm on the fat fan. Okay, I think it's like a 2504, you guys that are interested in knowing. And you can see we've got good pressure. That's for a squirt. Nothing else is wet. See that? Priming that pump. All right, my camera is about to die. So we're not gonna get too much footage up here, but this is just gonna get one quick light coat, just like that. All right. I'm gonna do the whole roof real quick. Then I'm gonna go put my phone on the charger so I can get some video washing out my 12 volt reel and red hose so I've turned my chem completely off I've turned the soap completely off we got water all the way on and we're just gonna run that for a few minutes you can see that it's perfectly clear coming out of this line going to the reel and I don't seem to have any air so that's pretty cool straightening yourself out a little bit got these resting in the sun okay and I'm gonna fire up power washing in just a sec that took me about, I don't know, six, seven gallons maybe. I'd say I have 35 gallons left in there. I started with about 45 today, so about 10 gallons in so far. Nice and efficient. All right, we're all fired up and soap mode. This red gun so far is working perfectly. And it's gonna be a game changer. For that reason, right there. Just like working with a Gilmore. Which is the gun we all love anyway. Gentle fan, it's beautiful. Needle for there, back to fan. And sweet, man. Oh no, Joe Deary soaping top to bottom again. He's not learned anything. His houses are never gonna come clean. begging all day I'm done customer came and met me did a walk around gonna get paid through my invoicing came back to the truck sprung a leak that whip line back there has a little pinhole in it thankfully I have another one at home we'll take care of it put a couple spares on the truck from tractor supply and that's it very happy with how everything ran today and I'm out